Hello, my name is Brian Thoreau. I'm here with my daughter, Emily, and uh, she's agreed to help me make this video on normalized gains and descriptive statistics. Yeah, using Excel. So we're going to see how this goes. Let's minimize us, and actually we might just disappear entirely. So we look at Excel. Um, I want to calculate here. I have the, the sample data set from uh, before. You know what? Maybe we'll put us in here for distraction. And if I look here, the one thing that we're asked to calculate for all of these is the uh, average. So I just type in average, right? Or I can, sorry, I hit equals average, and then I can just select average here, double click it, and then select the data that I want to do, and hit parentheses, and you can see what I'm typing up in here. If I ever lose track of anything, I can always go back there and hit enter. And there's the average. And it me, reminds me when I click on the cell down here, I can see up here in this viewfinder what my function is. That's my average. So I've got my average. Uh, other thing we might want to know is say the mode. I can say equals the mode. M-O-D-E is how we spell mode, and there it is. There's the mode. The mode's that number. Um, and then you can select. I can select it all. Good job, Emily. And then you hit enter. And now I have the mode here. And it reminds me that's the mode. Mean. We have the average. We have the mode. We could do the median if we wanted to do equals the median. Um, this is the one that I want. The double click on it, and I select all the data in the range that I want to look at. And in my parentheses, and hit enter. And now I have these three data pieces here. And I could even call them over here, average, um, and then what was the other one we did? Mode, mode and, and median, right? And then I have those labeled. Now the nice thing about Excel is if I take and I grab the little box in the bottom right hand corner and I drag that over, it's going to copy the same values and do the calculation for all the cells. And I'll show you what that means once I've copied them all over. Um, so now I've ha I have the average mode and median for all three columns already calculated. And if I look here, I can confirm that this 69.3 is the average of the values that were in cells E3 through E32. So there, there they are, the average mode and median, and I didn't have to do any math, and I like that. 